Um, hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about the scenario testing in Pega. Uh, how can we create a test case, how we run the scenario testing test in Pega. In my last video I have explained about the unit test case or a test case and a test suit. Okay, so what is the difference between the test case and scenario test case? So in my previous video, I created a test cases on the decision tables, data pages, data transforms, etc. Where I can check for the where I can check for the whether the response is success or fail, whether the execution time is more than five minutes or five seconds, uh, either a number of result count is greater than three or not, whether the pages exist or properties exist, etc. But uh, how can we so in in those test cases i am validating whether the rule is correct or not whether the rule is having the proper logic or not for example i have a data page in my data page the data page result count should be more than three if unfortunately if the data page is result count is two something went wrong in the data page obviously the test case was failed but uh, similarly how can i how can i validate my uh, user interface screens for example how can we create a test case on a section how can we create a test case on case type so i can achieve by using the scenario testing so i can create a test cases by using the scenario testing scenario testing means end to end scenario one complete end to end scenario if you want to test it how can you test it for example today there is a one scenario Today there is a one scenario. The scenario is successfully implemented and successfully tested. Okay, so tomorrow someone modified someone modified one screen. Again, if you run the test case, that scenario should be failed. Why? Because the expected scenario and the current scenario and previously implemented scenario must be different because of that test case is failed okay anyhow i will show you how to do this how to do the scenario testing so ultimately the scenario testing will be useful to validate to validate the uis to validate the user interface screens okay uh, without late i am going to create a one scenario testing so see here scenario testing at the bottom there is a scenario testing uh, what I am going to do is go to the launch portal. I am opening the user user portal. So here just open the settings. Here at the bottom there is a settings. Click on this and click on this automation toggle automation recorder. Click on this. Now create a test case. It will ask you to create a test case for a portal, this portal testing or a case type. Basically case type is nothing but an end to end scenario, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm selecting this insurance claim. I'm selecting this insurance claim. See now what's happening. So this is my insurance claim. It has a three stages. So I am entering uh, my name is Suresh. So in the background, the test case is completely recording. Please note it down. Please observe in the background the test case is recording. That means whatever the actions I am performing and whatever the data I am entering, everything is recorded by the PEGA internally in the scenario testing. So loan amount is uh, 3450. Now see this one initiate, a, initiate a insurance claim, capture the claim details and enter a first name. My name is text field, verify the loan amount. Now everything is captured when I click on button see complete this assignment. Now in the review screen review claim details. Uh, click on button. Now again in the approve claim details. Okay just click on submit button. Okay that's it end to end scenario is completed. End to end scenario is completed. You are captured or you are recorded. Now if you want you can stop and save the test case. Just click on it. Now uh, IEN insurance claim. You can you can create the test case. Okay. Now I am going to create a test case. No branch. My class name is 
work insurance and the rule set is a test and click on save so in the test rule set version i am going to capture the scenario test cases okay so this is the test case name just click on save now the scenario test case got created by the pega sometimes very very important in the real time if the client is asking to create scenario test cases to validate the user interface screens because in my previous video i have created a test cases on the remaining rules i did not create a test cases how can you create a test case on user interface screens end to end scenario how can you create a test case on it so this this scenario testing will be useful for you okay now go back to dev studio uh, go to uh, open your sbi application open your sbi application open your test rule set version uh, where the scenario test cases were saved Uh, this is the test open this test rule set version Uh, total number of rules 126 in this now where is our scenario test cases okay uh, rule type is scenario test case let's see our scenario test case insurance okay tc underscore insurance applies to this class updated by three minutes ago now if you want you can open this tc underscore insurance claim okay this is the scenario test case definition Uh, run and verify the insurance claim etc all these are the scenario test cases if you want you can modify also this is the expected results wait 0 milliseconds after etc just this is the scenario test case created by the pega if you want to run the test case go to actions not here uh, go to configure application quality test coverage sorry automation testing scenario testing here test cases here you can see the your scenario test case so this is your insurance claim just run selected one just run selected one as of now result is not run as of now result is not run see what is happening whatever the record whatever the record which is captured by the pega internally now see it is validating your entire ui your end to end scenario that's it see it is passed now what i am going to do uh, i am just opening my case type i am just opening my insurance claim case type okay now you have implemented this insurance claim successfully this scenario and you have captured the test case you tested the test case also it's working fine it's normally working fine and using the test case also the test case is also passed tomorrow what another developer so tomorrow another developer made some changes for example uh, in the captured claim open process and there is a section right for example in this process
so this is the section right for first name and last name in this insurance claim now another developer uh, before that let me tell you uh, this is my insurance claim just three stages just first stage capturing the details second stage review third stage approve that's it nothing if you want to run it manually also you can run it just for your understanding purpose how this insurance claim is okay so now what i am going to do uh, now i am just removing this first name field delete i am just removing save just leave remove some okay check in okay now what i am going to do someone made changes someone made the changes in ui there was uh, someone removed that first name field now again if you go back to if you go back to this test case insurance claim and just click on run selected see this time what will happen see this time what will happen it's always validating your ui see now this time there is no first name field but previously you recorded with first name field now again the record the test case is validating with your current user interface structure so obviously this time the test case was failed see there is no first name field why if you want you can see the view history also run history like this you can validate the user interfaces by using the test cases using the scenario testing very very important sometimes in the real time some clients may ask to create a test cases on the scenario testing okay where you can validate your ui for example this first screen is missed or this field is missed or there are some validation is implemented earlier now there is no validation so all these things you can you can capture and you can monitor by using this scenario testing okay when you click on run history this is previously passed and this time failed now if you can see why it was failed means why it was failed it will give the details this is the show previous scenario test cases run similarly how there was a test suit similarly there is a scenario test suit also you can include n number of scenario test cases into a single suit that is nothing but a scenario test suit see here there is a test cases there is a one more tab call it as a test suit where you can give the number of n number of scenario test cases so this this is very very useful if you want to test one end to end scenario okay okay so if, i mean when you click on this failed button you can see the why it was failed Okay, it was failed. Okay, at least you can try from your end. Click on that failed, and you can see why it was failed. Okay. Uh, at least I hope you understand this video about uh, scenario testing in. pega so you no need to depends upon the selenium automation selenium recorders any other third party tools pega has a, an inbuilt uh, automate automation testing automation testing feature which is scenario testing
okay this is the test case got created by the pega internally for scenario test case this class etc definition pages and classes run and verify the insurance claim if you want you can change this test case steps in initiate insurance claim first name last name click on submit portal name is user portal result description initiate insurance claim okay even if you want you can add assertions also even if you want you can add assertions also ui attributes wait 0 milliseconds after executing this step uh, if you want you can add your own assertions there there is no assertions but you can here you can add assertions i think system got struck okay how we added assertions in my our previous test cases similarly here you can add assertions that ui attribute ui attribute see this one ui attributes comparator value must be equal to this one or not or if you want to even events also events also if you want to apply the uh, assertions on the events so you can do all these things by using this scenario testing but uh, why it is not okay let me ch do check out Okay, at least I hope you understand the scenario testing. Okay, thank you.